We barely even got time to we barely even got time to speak. I was gonna talk about the return of the Mordex Sandstorm oh, as yeah. well, but I mean we're getting into it. We got two gauntlets on this screen. We have Wes on the Gray Man Sandstorm on the Mordex. Already getting that sidelight, looking through that neutral. And let's just see how it ends up going. Here. West gets the falling down. It's not the back end of it, so not able to combo it into a D-Light. Just opting to play a little bit floaty. Really good sidelight to be able to catch that. Started to juggle, and you already know the kind of damage output that Axe has. First game of top eight, and the pulse is rising. Sandstorm able to pick up that scythe. Wes is gonna have to be careful with his dodge options now. Immediately going in for a sidelight, trying to get that wake up, potentially to surprise Sandstorm. Not going to be very effective though. Yeah, the, the game plan with Scythe going up against Axe is how many times can I land against you with Doubter? How many times can I get away with this? Wes is going to be opting to go through the gauntlets, looking for the GC sidelight. Sandstorm with a downer weapon toss. d -lights off the stage, and now is left without a weapon. Still pops out a sidelight. Two kicks. Wes just keeps jumping into all of Sandstorm's hitboxes. Sandstorm keeping great stage control right now, making sure that oh. Wes is struggling to get back up. But he gets that end light, going to give himself some space to work with. Only to get knocked down again as Sandstorm picks up the first knockout in the set. He put himself off stage with that downer. That was a bit of an overcommitment. And now the question is, how much damage is Sandstorm going to be able to deal? You already know the kind of damage output that Mordex has. Looking for that end light. The recovery is somehow not KOing off the top. Sandstorm getting that side light, backing off a little bit. He's trying to lead a dodge in. West being nice and patient. Typically, oh, wow. people, they dodge in as a panic option when they get hit off stage. I mean, right there in the very first interaction that they have, Sandstorm, the end Endlights didn't connect, but what is the endlight? It's a soft read for going inwards, which Wes did. He dodged up and in, so Sandstorm potentially already having a little bit of a download. Wes needs to be careful here. And you saw that adaptation. Sandstorm went through the endlight into the recovery, tried to cover the dodge in and a dodge up again. Wes that time was able to get out of it, close out that stock with the endlight, and now it is two stocks apiece. Wes has a lot of damage to make up. Sandstorm trying to, stay, uh, trying to keep uh, his stage control here yet again. Sticking to the side, but Weapon Throw is going to give himself some space. Wes picks up a Nair, that's going to be a true combo as well. But Sandstorm can't allow too much damage to be built up here, but it's already orange. He's already orange and he is up against Axe. So you already know, it's going to be a couple of dead lights. Maybe one good side light dodge read uh, side out, but not going to be anytime soon. Wes, stuck off stage. you got to get back on against Gauntlets. You're so afraid of side out, but that's going to be the side light into the side out. Not going to result into a KO. The D light side out, true combo, comes out, and that's going to be the KO policy. Only one more stock to go now, but Wes still has a lot of space to make this comeback. He got Sandstorm down in orange, couple of side lights, able to build some space over to the gauntlets now. To okay, try Wes. and find the knockout. Nice delayed dodge there. Coming back down onto the ground, sweating, and Sandstorm just barely missing that side light to catch it again. Oh, the GC side sig, Wes. We've seen you use a lot of those yesterday. They're so scary. He keeps going for them. I think Sandstrom at this point knows that at any point one of those can come out. Maybe it's a bit, a bit of a conditioning tool for West, but DC oh. comes out. That's going to be hitting. That's going to be the knockout. At every level of play, you sometimes forget about Gauntlet D6 from Rayman. It is so active. It sends you at such a nasty angle, and it, it just covers so much. Sandstorm not opting to immediately pick up the weapon. Wanted to secure the edge guard. He was so patient. He gets another D light. West is stuck off stage. Why does West keep jumping back on the same way? That was so many times in a row that Sandstorm. Storm. And then he closes it out. Wow. With a full healthy stock to his name, that is a very comfortable first game. I mean, still very close, mm -hmm. but um, if, it, if it keeps going like this, unless West makes some uh, substantial adjustments, um, they're either going to be very close or Sandstorm is going to continue taking him. The biggest thing that I'm noticing thus far is the way that West is getting back onto the stage or the lack thereof. Sandstorm has consistently punished him going over the ledge in the same place over and over again with Scythe. And Sandstorm has too much pressure, man, especially on that Scythe. I mean, West is really struggling with that. As we mentioned, also out of disadvantage. The Sandstorm is able to pick up so much. I feel like Axe can definitely get away with some high recoveries. You can threaten with downer, but oh no, Wes off stage against Scythe. Sandstorm putting him back on though with the active input inwards from the downer. I love the double DC coming out from the Axe, though able to connect at least one of them. Uh, so we're still going to be having even damage here thus far, but Sandstorm is going to keep that stage control, trying to make sure that Wes can't land here. He will do so successfully, picking up that true combo. Wes is having a hard time, but he will finally get that weapon. He gets that side he goes through the weapon toss, just Barely missing Sandstorm, picking up the axe now. Okay, commits to the side, just enough movement to be able to drift past him. Sandstorm now picks up the scythe, gets another D light. Wes keeps coming back onto the stage the same way. I want to see Wes stall a little bit more off stage. I want to see Wes go up for a really high recovery, and he has not established that yet, and Sandstorm has taken full advantage of it. 
is going to be getting back to the station though, with a new stock and a new opportunity to potentially get this one first stock off of Sandstorm. He's already gotten that initial disadvantage in the scoreboard and uh, yeah, he's gonna need to pick up some hits soon or it's going to be all over. As soon as Sandstorm starts getting those That's hits, it. it can escalate very quickly. Great catch on a dash back with that side sig. Wes is definitely feeling a little bit pressured in disadvantage, but when it comes to neutral, he's able to go toe to toe. He catches a lot of dash ins, he catches a lot of jump ins as well, just like that, that preemptive end light. He understands that Sandstorm is the aggressor. He is the one that wanna keep on closing space and now he's doing a good job playing a little bit more defensively. Especially Sansor, very nice wake up there to oh. be able to get out of Wes's advantage. And man, you 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 said it. I mean, Sansor is just pressuring. As soon as he gets one hit, he never backs off. Mm -hmm. Okay, Wes, there with the aerial dodge, able to get back onto the stage. He has a lot of damage on him now, and he is definitely still moving like he is afraid. I don't know if he wanted to pick up uh, the gauntlet, or maybe he wants to go up through the axe at this point. Uh, but right now, Sansor is just going to be picking up the scythe. Looking for that side light. Oh, what a huge commitment. Wes, excellent punish with the end light, but not enough damage to even put Sandstorm off stage. Side there almost knocking out at this point. A gauntlet recovery should, uh, should seal the deal, but it's not going to be connecting. Wes is facing around it beautifully, trying to catch that landing, but Sandstorm will be able to get down, picking up the axe. Okay. Nice side light into oh. end light and the D-Sig again. That, that D-Sig, man, Sandstorm, Sandstorm was getting hit by those. He, he was getting hit by those? I, I can't believe that. <laughs> he didn't get spiked off stage. The angle of that was a little unfortunate. Oh, and there we go with the side sig too. We got the entire Rayman signature kit being used here. That's right, and guess what? Wes has a lead. I think he was playing a little nervous in the beginning. I think he was playing a little bit pressured, and now he is beginning to find his own. Once a gray man is comfortable to pop out all of his D6 and his slide off side six, that is when you know that they're in the comfort zone. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. We're seeing a more confident Wes now for sure, trying to get that weapon throw into a combo. But Wes, uh, sorry, Sandstorm is going to be able to turn that interaction around, get that knockout. Very important. With a weapon advantage now, if he can get a string started, this could be uh, very deciding. What an overshot what a from Sandstorm. beautiful wake up from Wes, catching Sandstorm off guard. Sandstorm keeps on waiting after one of his end lights and side lights, but I'm gonna stop right there. That was a side of Wes off stage, sweating. Any the, options? the dodge gets caught. Oh no, Wes! That could be it. Sandstorm, one more hit, the ground bound. That's still not going to be it. And like Wes is still back up. All that work and Wes, it's still so even. NC comes out. GC side light, that could have been that could have been it, but not yet. Sandstorm back on the gauntlets. Wes looking for any way to land. He is using up so many resources. Tosses down the gauntlets just in case Sandstorm decides to dash in. Gets the end light, punishes the dodge. He goes off stage, backs up. He doesn't want to commit too heavily. The side light just barely whiffs Polly. The recovery comes out, but Ooh. Rayman just defensive enough. Sticking to the axe now. <gasps> end light comes out, trying to get, the, get this edge guard, interrupting a ground pound with the weapon throw. Beautiful option by Sandstorm. Still going to take that end light though as West takes stage control once again. The air comes out, and that is going to be 1-1 one, one on the scoreboard. Wes played so patient. He got up in Sandstorm's face, he backed off, he scared him into dodging, and then Wes was able to establish himself and close out that game. I love the way that he was moving in the end of the last stock. He was able to make Sandstorm feel a little bit nervous. Uh, you mentioned earlier Wes having a hard time getting back up uh, off stage whenever Sandstorm is edge guarding. I'm seeing a little bit of a discrepancy, which is that towards the end of there, Wes got Sandstorm off stage several times in in a row without being able to s stop Sandstorm from getting back up. Sandstorm has proven to be very, very difficult to edge guard for Wes. And if Wes can tap into that and figure out a good way to get those uh, extra hits whenever he tries to get back up, that could also change the tides here. There is also another thing that I would love to point out, and that is the offstage interaction that happened when Wes was on a nice clean stock and Sandstorm was on site. I've, we've seen this time and time again. What happens when you have one bad option offstage against Scythe? Wes, that is a big mental block. That is a big mental thing that you have to get over. You have to be ready to fight against Scythe in such a nasty position. You have to be not afraid of it. You have to keep all of your options because you absolutely cannot let okay. the same thing happen again. Sandstorm immediately with a little read to get West down into orange here. As we go into game three, both of these players have proven themselves in their confident abilities. Uh, I can't lie, after the first game, it was looking a little bit rough for Wes, but uh, he surprised me with that second one. Sandstorm, though, with the ground pound, massive call out. Wes, you can't be recovering with Axe offstage like that. Wes went for the neutral, though. He was trying to preemptively stop Sandstorm from coming back on uh, against him offstage, and he wanted to get that chase dodge. He missed it, he put himself in an awful position offstage, and you already know how exploitable the end lag on Axe recovery is. Sandstorm, so comfortable, got that edge guard, and now he has a big lead. 
Able to pick up an air, not able to get any massive string off of it. Sarah comes out, Sandstorm. No Still punish. clinging onto this dock. Yeah, he was sweating. West didn't get the biggest punish, but he got the neutral. Okay, the ensign comes out. Not enough to be able to KO quite yet. I'm sure West doesn't feel that good about that. Ooh. Good wait. Not able to pick up a big string off of it, though. Still, the psychological effects of just always getting red. I mean, you can never dodge the same way twice. And uh, so so much of your mental energy has to go into that. Look at the high recovery. Wes has mixed it up. He has stopped jumping directly into the gauntlets of Sandstorm. Oh, but Sandstorm gets the last second side. And it gave him just a bit of momentum. Wes baited it, and he punished it, too. Beautiful there. Beautiful offstage inter interaction coming out from Wes. He's going to be sticking to that axe as well. This axe has been working out phenomenally for him so far oh. in this matchup. I mean, definitely better. Slightly better than the gauntlets, but it, it is the scythe, man. Wes is having a hard time against the scythe. Actually, I've scratched that, man. Look at those aerial attacks. Wes is just slashing Sandstorm up right now. The end signature would have been a massive call out. He doesn't even need it. The Sarah is going to seal the deal, and just like that, Look at the momentum of I West. I love Axe Advantage State, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You see that many dodge callouts? You see that many doubters? Ah, it feels good. Anybody fighting against Axe, they don't feel that good. But West on Axe now, this is where we have established has been his most comfortable weapon. But he is off stage against Sandstorm Scythe. And he gets, he just has to eat that at that point. He has to eat it, and that's going to be the stock. Now, actually, I don't remember. I'll be reminded very, very soon if West did prime another Axe or if uh -oh. he's going to be picking up gauntlets here, because that could definitely be a deciding factor of how this last stock goes, if he's even able to pick up that weapon. I mean, Sandstorm is doing a really good job starving him out right now. He is denying him again and again. He is finally able to pick up these gauntlets. If I am Wes, I'm honestly going to toss these away, right? Because you get a down, you're not getting any of these long strings. You're not able to match Sandstorm in that damage output is what I would say. Wes is shutting me up. Wes definitely is shutting us up right now, doing a really good job getting a couple of strings. There we see the weapon toss, but I was just about to say, do you really want a weapon toss when Sandstorm was doing such a good job at weapon starving you? Wes was doing the thing where, like, He's getting comboed and he really wants to pick up the weapon, so he started dodging in again and again. Wes dash jumping, Sandstorm able to catch him with the recovery. Wes has been off of a weapon for so long. Sideline recovery comes out. That's gonna be the stock, that's gonna be the game. And Sandstorm is now up two to Ready? one. Here we go. Let's go. Sandstorm up two to one. Wes gonna be switching over to the SpongeBob for this. And honestly, can't blame him. It is an amazing crossover. Uh, right now, Axe on hand gets that end light. Dashing in there, not able to punish the dodge. And now Sandstorm with the new trailer gonna be tossing him off stage. Already a decent. The second one, what a call out. Not going to be connecting those Sandstorm weapon throw to cancel okay. what would look like the beginning of a third one. Still all the way down in orange. This is the thing though, Wes, you can't get overconfident. If you go too far off stage, Sandstorm can just bring you back out. Out there. West has the lead. Sandstorm is consistently just neutral air dodging over and over outside of the uh, neutral airs, and especially when he gets put off stage. West almost called him out for it with the side air. His timing was a little bit off. He gets a side air that time around. <gasps> Weapon throw connecting as well. Yeah, the counter reads are in full effect right now. We're going to the third dimension. These guys, we got reads and then counter reads, then counter reading the counter reads. Enlight D sick. What is that? <laughs> Ew. D dude, we're watching West and Stan, so these guys make the rules, okay? That's a string now, that's a combo. Write it down. It's it's been written down at, at White Health. The first thing that you do, end light with axe, and then it's a decent. Great, lovely. D light into the side light as well. West picking up the gauntlets now. Gonna be whipping that side sick, but Sandstorm a little bit too far back to be able to whip punish it. He has landed back on the ground, and Polly, I can't help but feel like because of the break, Sandstorm has lost a little bit of his presence and steam. Uh, he is regaining some of it though. I mean, in the second stock, he has been, he has been running towards Wes a little bit more. Uh, the thing is, whenever Wes gets one of those wake-ups, that's when he can kind of yoink all of that momentum. Able to pick up a, uh, uh, pick, able to pick up a Sarah though, trying to get Wes off stage, not able to do so. He keeps catching Sandstorm's timing on the dodges, but he was not ready for him to dodge in. Gets the Sair, wants to commit for the offstage. Grandpa not going to be connecting. Wes tries to get one in return. Not going to work though. Recovery hits the side sig. Wes is pressing buttons right now. Oh gosh, that's gonna be the D-Light into the ground pound. Sandstorm catching him going over the lip of the stage again. And now Sandstorm has a very gentle two to one stock lead. He has a two to one game lead as well. Wes, you need to figure out how to close. Is he gonna keep trying oh, to dodge no. it and lean in? Oh, it's no. the same situation, Polly. Only one stock to go for Sandstorm to secure his position in the winner finals. He's got Wes right where he wants him, down in orange. He got that GC, didn't have a weapon mm. to capitalize off of it though. Sidelight recovery. 
adding up just a little bit more damage as we go into some competitive, grueling neutral game. The Sair is going to be enough to get that knockout, though. And you already know how well Wes is able to put on that damage, especially with Axe on hand. He's looking for the down -in. he's looking for the D-light, he's looking to get something started. He whiffs the side light, falls off with it, makes it nice and safe. Side light into the recovery. Wes is in a bad position off stage. How does he make it back on? And this is right. This is it right here. Sandstorm. His edge guards have been phenomenal so far, but Wes is going to be able to slip by him, picking up the axe. Now the weapon throw is going to just poke at him a little bit. Nair into ground pound, adding up some damage. It could be too little, too late. You're knocked off stage. Sandstorm. Is he going to make the commitment? He's waiting for the edge guard. He's being nice and patient. Yes, he slides off. He goes for the GCD sick. It doesn't get punished. He goes for the downer. Misses that downer as well. Misses the side of Sandstorm on the stage. Neutral has been reset. He dodges the weapon toss. Wes able to punish the signature, the recovery doesn't KO, dodges past the weapon toss, that and that's there gonna it be it, Polly. 3-1 for Sandstorm as he advances in the winner side of the bracket. He's going to be sitting comfortably in the winner's final. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to be Wes's game for a second. He was getting those hits in. Oh my gosh, those GCD six. Dude, that, oh, that, that game, so close. that game was a trance. I can't lie. It started and then... So